<laughs> All right, guys, so this video we're going to talk about three to one and four to one vertical systems. Um, we're going to use a tripod to hang our systems off of, uh, so make a confined space. Um, we know that tripods are portable anchors, we can move them anywhere we need to uh, to effect a rescue. Um, tripods, vortexes, many different styles and brands, um, but the thing to know about any of these systems or these uh, anchors is one is how high they go. Um, so this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, this is not the one that we use on the job, but um, if this tripod went up 10 feet, uh, we have to realize that the amount of rope that we're going to use um, in our system is that we have to account for that. So uh, a lot of times in classes we ask people or uh, students, uh, what do they carry in their trucks? And a lot of the a lot of them say uh, haul safes, pre-built four to ones uh, with 200 feet in the rope bag. So I asked them, the next question I ask is, uh, how far down can you affect the rescue? And they, in their head, they're doing the math and they said, well, if I'm using a four to one, I divide 200 uh, feet of rope by four and I can go down 50 feet. Um, well, that's not the case when you're talking about entry into the hole because um, we have to realize that inside the legs of the tripod, we're going to use around 55 feet of rope before we even make entry into the hole. Um, uh, using a four to one. Where we get those numbers from is the four to one is gonna use four times the amount of rope. So if my tripod goes up 10 feet, I'm using 40 feet. I need 10 feet of line to pull down um, to haul. So right then I'm at 50 feet and I know it's a little generous, um, but I also use a foot for every time the pulley goes, uh, or I'm sorry, the rope goes around a pulley and or I form a knot. So using a four to one, I'm gonna have uh, four times the uh, rope is going to go around a pulley and I'm going to have one knot so I use fit, so five feet so total I deduct 55 feet from my rope um, all right enough of that so what we're going to do is we're going to build the systems um, I build them a certain way it's the way I teach it in class so there's many different ways to build a vertical system um, utilizing a portable anchor uh, this is just one way um, it's the way that uh, I like to teach it so the reason I like to teach this way is because we're going to change this to a three to one um, without breaking down a lot of equipment. If we're using Omni pulleys uh, from CMC, it makes it even easier. Um, right now we're just gonna use some generic equipment and um, dang it. So first thing I do is I grab my carabiner and I'm going to use a gaff technique. I'm gonna clip it onto my anchor point and I'm going to rotate it. So now that the gate is facing me and the nose is down, um, everything's gonna hang on the spine for, uh, for load. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead to wrap my um, knot around my pulley. So uh, around my COD pulley. This one's not gonna move, it's gonna hang. So I'm gonna take the knot, I'm gonna open up the left shiv, I'm gonna build this left to right, and I'll tell you that, uh, why in a minute. Close the side plate, I'm going to come around the top to the right. So now that the knot is facing, oh, going away from me over the top, um, so this would be considered left to right, um, if you look at it that way. So now I'm going to hang this pulley. Now we're gonna start with a three to one. So I'm gonna hang this pulley, uh, the CD pulley on my carabiner. All right, so now I have my knot going to my load, which is gonna make it a uh, odd system right away. Um, since I wrapped it uh, twice around my COD, it's gonna create a bite where my next pulley is gonna go. So I'm going to take my double pulley again, another double pulley, and I use this so I'll have to change it out when I wanna change it to a four to one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the bite down and I'm going to open up one of the side plates of the pulley. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter which side you use, but I'm going to make sure that I leave the open side or shift for the knot. All right. I don't want to move. Uh, I don't want to put this rope that I create this bite onto the closest shift. So now that the knot wouldn't have anything to go into. And right? this makes it um, one of the important steps when we convert it to a uh, four to one later. So I have my knot that comes down. Um, I'm also gonna, I'm kind of you know, picky on when it comes to attaching the knot to, I know it's overkill, attaching the actual knot to the pulley. Um, if you can see there, there's a bulky and a flat side to every knot, depending on how you wanna use it. Um, I said, it's not that big of a deal, but I usually like to put the flat side on the knot on the pulley so the bite is closest, closer to the carabiner attachment. Um, if you put the bulky side on it, usually it pushes the knot or the bite away. Um, you know, so just kind of nitpicking there, but it's kind of good. So now I'm going to take the carabiner and I'm going to gaff it going from the rope side to the pulley and rotate it. So what this does now is that now the pulley will ride on the spine and the gate 
or the knot is on the gate side of my carabiner. Again, the nose is facing down. Um, so if you look at this system, you have a uh, gate and gate as of right now. Um, I have a three to one, three ropes coming off my moving pulley, but I have no project capture into it. So what I do is I need to put something in there that's gonna stop the load um, once I haul up from falling back down, right? If I let go of the rope or slips or whatever, I need something to capture the load. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach a hard cam to the system. Now, <clears throat> there's uh, a bunch of different variety of hard cams. So I'm gonna use the Gibbs for this video. Um, like I said, you can use a number of them. It really doesn't matter as long as it's free running. Uh, Spring-loaded cams, when you put it on the rope or in the system, as you haul, it'll actually grab and it'll create a kind of a mess I feel the rope will bind up, not really smooth to run. So I like using free running cams, uh, hard cams on this system. Uh, I don't use press cords because we can't reach it uh, at full height. Let's say it's 10 feet. Uh, the, the COD is gonna be up that high. I can't go up there to release my press cords. So um, now we're gonna, we got a hard cam. I wanna figure out what rope to put it on. So I'm gonna put it on the back side of the hall. I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna put it on the back side of the hall line, which would be this rope right here or the fastest line leaving the load, or leaving, the, sorry, the COD pulley, coming down towards my load. So as I pull on the load, this line is obviously the fastest, it's also the backside of the haul line. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my cam, the arrow or the nose of this is actually gonna point down, because that's what I'm trying to grab, um, up for uh, sending, uh, down for grabbing my load, or if I'm using it for a... All right, guys. Uh, Sorry about that, my battery died, so um, I do a quick change. So back to what I was talking about earlier. I guess we're learning as we go. Um, the hard cam. So the hard cam is gonna go down towards the load, um, the nose of it. It's gonna grab the load for my project capture. Um, the reason that we built it in the beginning, I told you left to right, was so that this pin doesn't rub on any of the ropes. Um, if we did it right to left, it would rub. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hard cam on here, free running, hard cam. Keep go up, Michelle. And I'm gonna go ahead and gap my Beckett. So when I rotate this carabiner, it'll be facing me. This allows the cam to go in nice and easy. All right, so now we have a project capture. So I can pull on this. I know it's biting because it's bent. I can haul up, it releases, everything works good. Uh, the only problem is now I have nothing to release this um, at height. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a leash on. We call it a leash, but it could be, uh, it's just uh, a paracord, shoelace, whatever you have. Um, we put a bite in one end so the pin can go through here if you'd like, or you can girth it. Um, so a lot of times I just like girthing it. I don't incorporate this little blue piece here of webbing. I go in between the two, so it's gonna go underneath. I'm gonna girth it. All my slack out here, so I have plenty to grab at height. I'm gonna go ahead and cinch it around just over the pin. All right, so that's the only thing incorporated, over, over top of the carabiner. So now, as I pull this, it gets lift, and it will release my load. Um, the one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to try to release the load with the leash um, only. You want to go ahead and haul up your system so the cam goes straight, vertical, and then you can go ahead and release your load. If I just sit there and load this and I try to pull on it, um, it's really tough and uh, you know, you can break some of your equipment. Also, I gaffed it, something I forgot to tell you, I gaffed it uh, going from the cam side away from me and rotate it, so this leash is on the gate side. It's not stuck in between the spine and the actual cam, because it'll pinch in there and make it very hard to pull or lift. All right, so now that we have the three to one, I'm gonna spin this back around so you guys can see it a little better. All right, so I have my three to one here. Um, Again, if I need to change it to a four to one for any number of reasons, uh, it's not overused. I'll never build this over the hole as well. So this would be away from the hole initially. But if I want to set this up as a four to one, I can make this uh, transition very easily because of the way I set it up. So one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of uh, working room here. So I'm gonna use some more rope. Um, I'm gonna take this knot out of my carabiner. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the side plate of the pulley. The rope needs to come down the same side, don't cross it, the so same side down to the pulley, and then I'm gonna bring this back up to the top. 
I don't know if you guys can see that, and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this. So now I'm gonna take my carabiner and put it back into place. I'm gonna bring this knot all the way back up, and I'm gonna go ahead and find that flat spot of the knot like I talked about earlier, and hook it into my COD carabiner that's up top, all right? So now we have a four to one. Very easily just changed it from a three to one to a four to one. And um, like I said, the next video that we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a four to one, go to a three to one so you can see it in reverse. Um, but uh, yeah, very easily done. Four ropes coming up, I'm moving pulley, so I know I have the uh, right system. And like I said, anytime I put this into service or put into use, I'm gonna make sure I safety everything, lock down all my carabiners um, uh, before I lower my load. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, uh, so we're back and we're going to start with a four to one and change it to a three to one. So reverse of what we just did um, in the last video. So I'm gonna start with my carabiner. I'm gonna go ahead and gaff my anchor point like we did at the beginning. Same thing, nothing changes. Gate's facing me now and the nose is down. I have my rope and my COD pulley. I'm gonna rig this from left to right, throwing the knot over the top, bring it to me, throw the knot over the right, so it's side plate. And now this time, what I'm gonna do is instead of leaving the knot down, is I'm gonna bring this knot right back up to the top, okay? So it's that dent finding that, that flat part or trying to find the flat part of this knot. And I'm gonna hang this now as one piece. So now that I know my knot's going to my anchor, it's going to be an even system, all right? That creates two bites in my rope, which I'm gonna hang another pulley off of. So. Knots at the anchor, I create uh, two bites this time. I'm gonna pull them down and to make this a little bit easier, some, sometimes this becomes a pain in the butt for a lot of people that don't know how to uh, uh, really rig this or it gets confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the mid plate down the center. So I'm gonna open up both side plates, put the mid plate down. I'm gonna split the two ropes, put one away, one towards me, and very easily just kind of just lays in there real nice. I'm not trying to fish it through one at a time. I'm gonna take my carabiner again, half my pulley. So now I have the four to one, four ropes coming off my moving pulley. Oh, yep, so now it's the project capture. So I gotta put my safety into it somehow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this around one more time so you can see it. And then I have my haul line. Here's the line on the back side of the haul, leaving the COD or the fastest rope going down towards my load. I'm gonna pull the pulley down. Uh, let's go ahead and attach our hard cam. So again, we're going to use the Gibbs. Nose goes down, just like the first video, nothing really changes. Can goes in with the teeth up, and we're going to ahead and gaff our Beckett. Rotate it and put that in there. So, all right, and we're ready to rock. Oh, that's right, I need the leash, right? So, um, something not to forget, a lot of people do forget it when they build these, is the leash. Um, it's like kind of an oversight thing, but once it's up at full height, you realize you need it when you went to go release the load. So we'll grab our leash. Uh, like I said, I can put the pin through here again, or I can just girth it. Either way is fine. As long as you don't incorporate this little piece here on this style of hard cam, which is the Gibbs. You can use Petzl, CMCs, or whatever you purchased you can use here, it's fine. And we'll go ahead and hook it over the uh, nose. Or gate side of the carabiner, and this will be locked down, and now I have my 4 one So my 4 to one's good to go. I can release this, to lower the load. I have my haul, it's gonna bite. Um, so my project capture's in place. Now, reverse this, we're gonna go ahead and change this to a three to one. So last video we did uh, three to one to four to one. We're gonna do a four to one to a three to one, and it's uh, just like you would think, it's just reversing our steps. So since we set it up the same way, I'm gonna open up the COD, Carabiner, drop my knot down. So if we had omni pulleys here, this would make it really easy because we don't have to take this carabiner out. Um, the side plates open up with the carabiner in place. It hangs off the swivel. Now I'm gonna take this pulley. I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see it. Hopefully it's in the camera view. I'm gonna take this uh, carabiner and hook it up to this knot. All right, so now the knot is on the pulley and we just went to a three to one. All right, so now I have my three ropes coming off my moving pulley and move my knot down to my load. Um, so we changed from a three to one to a, or I'm sorry, from a four to one to three to one, same as we did um, in the last video, just in reverse. 
So nothing changed with the leash. No ropes are rubbing this pin. So I built it from uh, left to right, so it's the right way. Okay. And now we're ready to go to work. Let me know if uh, this was helpful to you guys in the comments or if there's anything you want to go over as far as uh, equipment used in this video or any equipment that you have um, that we may be able to talk about or any videos you want to see in the future. Just leave me a comment and uh, we'll work on that and get it for you guys. All right, happy training.